Welcome to Ben Cost Match Fishing. Uh, the first video seemed to go down fairly well. A uh, bit of a bit of a subject that uh, people, as I said, it was it was a bit of a marmite method. Um, it's been around a long time. It was, it's just obviously the fact that some people know about know about it. Some people probably have heard of it and not used it. Uh, but I'm sure it'll be something that you guys will want to get into and try in the summertime. Uh, having watched quite a lot of YouTube. Uh, videos lately um, one of the things that does seem to sort of pop up <coughs> is um, tackle reviews uh, so one, one of the subjects I want to talk about is uh, is obviously the poles that I've been using over the last few years um, I'm going to be putting some videos just above my left shoulder not videos sorry some photos just above my left shoulder of uh, what poles I've been using um, so the, the name of this this actual chat, uh, video is called uh, Daiwa versus Colmic, or more specifically, uh, Daiwa Air versus my Colmic F66, which is my current pole. So I thought I'd sort of mention some sort of pros and cons of the poles that I've had um, and why I've ended up using the pole that I've got. Before I had the Daiwa Air though, uh, probably the first sort of, I mean, I had lots of poles sort of at a younger age, sort of older poles. Um, but in the last sort of sort of 10, 15 years um, is probably where I'm going to sort of begin. Uh, the first one I re recall was the Daiwa Spectron. Uh, from the sort of 11, 12 metre, 13 metre poles I used to use, uh, the Spectron really was a, it was a big step up. And I'd probably go as far as to say for the time period, it was probably ahead of its time. Uh, great iconic pole. Really, really nice. Uh, had it for a good few years. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the um, nicest person to use with my stuff. You know, I, I can throw it about a bit. And yeah, very, very strong pole. Um, decent pole, no issues with it whatsoever. Good in the wind, uh, a good uh, package. Um, I ended up selling it on. Um, I then bought a Arity, a Daiwa Arity. Uh, the black version. Um, I bought that second hand also. Um, got on really well with that. It, it again was a step up. Uh, you'll see the pictures above my left shoulder of the poles I used. <clears throat> uh, very, very nice pole, uh, the black Arity. really was uh, a, a, a great upgrade on the Spectron. Um, I had, uh, obviously, the, the spare, spares from the Spectron fitted the Arity. Um, which was handy, so I was obviously starting to to get a decent sort of spares package. Um, the only thing is, I am quite heavy-handed, but I'll come on to that in a minute. After I got rid of the uh, Black Arity, I moved up to the Standard Air. Um, a friend of mine packed up uh, match fishing, um, and he went into carp fishing um, and was selling his Air. Um, so I thought, great, it's got to be an opportunity to get myself a top-end pole at a decent price. Uh, so what I did was I went for the Air. He had lots and lots and lots of kits, um, loads. I'd already got quite a lot of kits left from the Spectron, the Arity. Uh, so obviously I wanted to stick with Daiwa. It was a fantastic pole. I used it for years. Um, it really was a fantastic pole. Very stiff very responsive, um, just a beautiful bit of kit. You can sit at 16 meters and fish it, absolutely no issue whatsoever. Um, yeah, it was uh, easy to use, great in the wind. Um, it was just a really good pole all round. It would, it would handle big carp. It's great for small fish, great for skimmers in the winter, in the wind fishing 14 and a half, 16 metres, it, it, it did everything. <clears throat> it really was a good pole. Um, and yeah, the people that use dial poles and swear by dial poles will tell you what good poles the dial air is. I'll come on to the reason why I changed in a second, but basically I got the opportunity to join Colmic uh, UK a couple of years ago. Uh, and I just, and I saw, I read a lot about the uh, Colmic F66. Um, and I ummed and ahed and ummed and ahed for ages, and I thought, well, go for it, you know, there's nothing to lose. Uh, plus, I'd never had a brand new pole, I'd always bought second hand. So I'd had the Spectron second hand, the Black Arity second hand, 
the air second hand although i did have a lot of kits um new uh short kits match kits power kits the pole itself was second hand and i thought well yeah go for it you know you've got to go for um go for the colmic this is where this is where i uh sort of it gets interesting because one thing i did use to do with the diver poles all of them uh, and i think it's purely down to maybe the way i fish maybe because i'm quite heavy-handed but one thing I did do with the dial was I did used to break a lot of sections. Um, I used to break a lot of top kits, uh, number threes, fours, fives and sixes. Not so much the bigger sections, but I did used to break break quite a lot of top kits. Um, I'm not saying loads and loads and loads. And I do think it was purely down to the way that I am quite heavy handed. Um, they are, you know, it's a, it's a decent top end pole. So, it, you know, the, the walls aren't extremely thick. It's not a strong, strong cart pole. Um, it's more of a match pole. Um, so, yeah, when you're when you're putting a pole through the through the battering that I do, and as I said, I am quite heavy handed. Um, I did used to break quite a lot of sections. Um, I'd, I'd read a lot about the Colmic F66 um, and everyone said how strong they are. Um, looking at the weight of both, um, it's definitely heavier than the air. I've had my Colmic F66 now for nearly two years. Um, the strength of it is unbelievable. Um, if you purely fish silver silverfish venues and you purely fish uh, long all of the time, then I'd probably sway towards the air. Saying that, um the Colmic f66 when i when i say strong i mean i haven't broken a top kit at all not once in two years um and i really do you know bully those fish in sometimes i say bully the fish in but you know it's, it's a strong pole it, it, it's a really really strong pole um that's really the difference um it's it's good at 16 meters um it's good at 14 meters um, it's stiff, it's strong, it's responsive, um, it's got a good kits package. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely pole. The other thing, the kits, actually, the top kits are longer than the Dara kits. So sometimes um, they're probably about a foot and a half longer, uh, which is good because uh, sometimes when you want a slightly longer lash and you want to keep all your rigs on, the, on, on, the, on your top kits, if you're fishing in sort of seven, eight foot, with the old Dyra, you used to, with my old Dyra, then you used to have to use like short number fours. Uh, but with the Colmic pole, uh, the top kits are that little bit longer. Um, so yeah, they're, they're brilliant. But yeah, the main main thing is is its strength. Um, I fish commercial venues. That's all I fish. Um, I'd say ninety five percent of the time. So I'm fishing, you know, decent elastics, uh, black hydros, thirteen uh, Durus lips you know, decent elastics and um, yeah, the, the kits just do not let you down. Something else which I did did get recently um, to sort of complement the, the, the F66 is the Nuclear, uh, the Colmic Nuclear 10 meter, uh, which is the margin pole. Wow, <laughs> what a bit of kit that is. Um, if you go into a venue again in the summer and you want to fish short and edges, and then maybe chuck a method across. Um, perfect. You haven't got to get your whole pole out out the um, out the rod bag, and you could just get your margin pole out. A lot of a lot of margin poles I used to have uh, didn't really feel like a normal pole. They were all either really really thin or really really heavy. Whereas this actually feels just like a normal pole at ten meters. Uh, they're great value for money. The kits interchange with the Colmic, and. I reckon you can lift a truck up with them. They're so strong. They're just strong. Um, you get the color. You can get the colorful kits also if you was thinking about obviously the shadows on the lake. Uh, they do a nice colorful kit with the puller kits on the side. But yeah, so the F sixty six coupled with the nuclear. Um, that's me sorted. I've got the nice heavy kits for the uh, for the carp. They handle elastics, big elastics, small elastics. Um, and yeah, it really is a great all round, strong, stiff pole. Very, very good. Good value for money. So yeah, just wanted to uh, do this little video just to talk about obviously the poles I've had and the poles I currently use. 
Um, great, Daiwa poles are great, Karmic poles are great, and I'm sure other poles are great, but these, they're the sort of two main poles that I've used, and um, both got pros and cons, and yeah, both really good pieces of kit. So, hope you're enjoying the channel. Um, I'm gonna try and upload as much content as I possibly can. Um, hope I haven't dribbled on as too much for you guys. Uh, we're gonna be getting out of the bank very soon. Uh, be speaking to a few anglers, and I've got a couple of exciting things to come. Um, so yeah, please hit subscribe, please hit like, uh, please hit the little notification bell to see when I'm uploading new content. Uh, and I hope you enjoy what I've done so far. Um, please feel free also to join my Facebook uh, page, uh, Ben Cost Match Fishing, uh, where you're more than welcome to make comment about any of the videos that I've uploaded and any future content you'd like to see. Um, hope you're all staying safe and thanks again for tuning in. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.